Now, the name of the place is called Pares Retiro. As of the moment, the place is able to cater to dine-in customers at 50%. However, I decided to eat in the car because I did not want to bother the other customers as of the moment and because shy kasi ako eh. Anyway, in this place, I ordered their classic Paris and the attendant mentioned that the Paris goes well with the bone marrow. Now, the bone marrow has the spicy and the regular, so I went with the spicy. So, if you're ready, let's go! Let's start with the bone marrow. Now, as you can see, this bone marrow is big, but don't be fooled by the size because bone marrow, as you know, comes from the bone and the bone here is very big. But your main concern here is the brains of the bone or the marrow itself. Now, as you can see, the bone marrow has garlic, it has onion leeks, it has the marrow, of course, and you can see that they did char it and since i did order the spicy bone marrow it has the pieces of chili on it you can also see some juice from the bone marrow now we'll taste the bone marrow first and then we're going to taste the paris and then we're going to taste combination of both so starting off with the bone marrow I'm going to get a piece of everything from the bone marrow and let's see how this will taste like. Mm. You can taste that bone marrow flavor. The temperature of the bone marrow is just right with all the juices that you can see and the chili and the garlic and the onion. The bone marrow is creamy like butter. It's soft and the charred flavor with the garlic and the onion leeks does give it a unique flavor. Now, let's try the Paris. So, the Paris does come with fried rice, with the Paris meat, which is beef, the soup of the Paris, and it does come with the soy sauce, calamansi, and chili sauce. Now, let's taste the soup of the Paris first and then we're going to taste the meat, then we're going to put some sauces, and then we're going to add in the bone marrow. Mm. This um, soup has a unique flavor. It, it's sweet, it's thick. Now, one thing unique about this Paris is that I can taste star anise. Now let's taste the meat. Mm. Can definitely taste the beefy flavor. Mm. The beef is not soft. And it's not tough, but it is a little close to getting tough already. So I don't know if it just so happened that's how it was cooked today. Could be possible that it's not cooked that way in other days. You can definitely taste the marinade of the Paris inside the meat. Now, let's add some calamansi. Let's add some 
soy sauce and let's add some chili oil let's mix everything together and let's see if it will make a difference tasting the soup first The calamansi does give this a sweet and sour flavor. The chili oil does make it spicy and the soy sauce makes it a little bit salty. So what I would suggest is don't put in the soy sauce. Not unless you feel that this Paris is not salty enough for you. For me, the taste is okay as long as you add the calamansi. Now let's taste it with the fried rice. Now the fried rice smells like fried rice. As it comes closer to my nose you can definitely smell that garlic flavor. So let's get a piece of the meat and taste it with the fried rice. It's another perfect combination. The beef soup with the fried rice is a definite pares or pear. Now, what I'm curious is if the bone marrow with all of this will really match because that's what the attendant said. So let's try that out. Here we have the bone marrow. I added some garlic and the onion leeks and I'm going to add it to the Paris. And let's see if it will make a difference. bone marrow makes it creamier it makes it like a texture of cream of mushroom soup that's how the bone marrow gives the Paris a unique flavor by giving it a unique texture okay so overall the bone marrow for 140 had spicy and non-spicy I went with the spicy but both bone marrows had garlic and onion leeks now the bone marrow has a little bit of this crispy texture and since it was charred you can see the juice of the bone marrow the texture of the bone marrow was creamy like butter and for the Paris for 140 had a unique flavor of star anise in it the Paris was as expected sweet and the garlic rice was as expected with the garlicky aroma and flavor the paris does come with soy sauce chili oil and calamansi now adding those three items within the paris would give it a sweet and sour a little bit salty and a little bit oily texture and if you're not that kind of salty person you can skip the soy sauce and just add the calamansi and the chili oil if you like the spice now adding in the bone marrow does give this kind of cream of mushroom texture to the Paris and finally make sure to subscribe so that you'll know where I'm going and make sure to comment below I will see you in the next video